This is the Nebula Capsule 3. It is the first laser projector ever to fit that technology into something the size of a soda can. And at 950 grams, it is the very definition of portable. And this is the Cosmos Laser 4K from Nebula and it is like no projector you have ever seen. The picture quality is better than any projector I have tried, the colour accuracy is better than any projector I have tried, the black levels are better than any projector I have tried, and it's portable. Portable. Thanks to Anchor for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their limited Transformers edition of the 1080p based Capsule 3, of which there are only 4,000 in existence, and their 4K Ultra HD 1840 ANSI Lumen HDR10 Nebula Cosmos Laser Projector. Laser Projector. Pew pew! Only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise. <laughs> Only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise. I think, um, it, it might be time to put old Ben Kenobi in a home. But I digress! The difference here is that I have never, ever seen a projector with this level of precision. This is nuts. This is ridiculous. That thing's corner on, right? So it shouldn't be producing an image quality of that magnitude anyway. This is a proper 4K image, and it's like... I think as close as I like to this screen, there's just no pixels. What is going on? Look at that! It's absolutely stunning. Portable. That's a portable projector. Why is the portable projector better than my actual projector? Laser projection is rare on any projector, but it's absolutely unheard of on a portable. Did I mention that these are portable projectors? And laser technology is the latest tech in the projector category. And although it's relatively more expensive, it is more efficient, energy saving, brighter, has better color accuracy and range. And with a little tweaking, I was able to get the color accuracy on the Cosmos to look better than any projector I have tried to date. I know how that sounded. I haven't tried to date a projector. That would just be stupid. Now I the time of my so stupid. Both of these projectors are using Android TV and they are exceptionally speedy. Super quick. Both projectors can also do auto keystone, both horizontally and vertically, but also have autofocus and automatically detect screen size and map out the shape of walls. The Cosmos comes with a 4K dongle goes in its butt. Oh yeah! Huh? Just like that! <clears throat> oh yeah! Oh yeah! The remote for the Cosmos projector contains all the modern shortcuts to YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video and Disney Plus, and both remotes have a Google Assistant button which unlike practically any other Google device I've tried, actually works. It just works! Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. No way! Got it. Here are some videos. Oh, that's so much I don't... Oh, that never works for me. That's brilliant. But probably the most important factor for me personally is the fact that the Cosmos projector is Netflix certified. Finally! Finally, a projector with Netflix baked in that you don't have to faff around to make work. This is awesome. A well, monthly low price that keeps going up. Corporate greed! Can I just say before we get started that I love these projectors in the same way that Angelina Jolie loves her brother. Too much. S 
slightly unnatural amount. Somebody should stop them. Horizontal Keystone is incredibly unusual on any projector, so it's amazing to see it here, and you can really get both projectors at quite a preposterous angle before it's unable to make a square image. The Cosmos has two full range speakers and two tweeters rated at 30 watts, all kicking out Dolby Digital Plus, and they're pretty bloody loud. I regret this. I will just have to see you. You know the story. There are two Pretty kinds of bloody there. loud. <laughs> lucky and unlucky. Upright and sinning. Pipe down. Crikey. That's noisy. And the Capsule 3, despite its tiny size and the fact that it only has one 80 watt speaker, is actually kicking out Dolby Digital and a beautiful, very loud sound. Oh wow. Wow, that's pretty bloody loud. Holy moly. <laughs> Both projectors have a similar throw distance and can give you screen sizes from 120 inches for the Capsule 3 and 150 inches for the Cosmos, depending on how far away from the screen you place them. Both projectors have Bluetooth built in to allow you to use it as a Bluetooth speaker or to connect Bluetooth devices such as headphones, a HDMI port for watching external devices and an auxiliary output for external speakers and headphones. On top of both units is a sexy touch-sensitive command interface. So sexy. Now I... And as well as having a physical remote to control the menus, the command interface allows for up, down, left, right, back, enter, volume, and settings. Both projectors have a quarter-inch mount on the base for attaching to a stand, but more importantly, you could use this mount to hang it from a ceiling too. And the Cosmos is even capable of rear projection if you have a rear projection screen. The lamps in laser projectors are not replaceable, but the lamp life for each of these projectors is 25 to 30,000 hours. At 10.7 pounds, the Nebula Cosmos is not the lightest projector on the market, but its carry handle is actually very comfortable and in a pinch could be used for doing bicep curls. Now it's not weird. My relationship with this projector is not weird. <laughs> the final point of note for both of these projectors is that the fan is very quiet in both cases. Quite quiet on the Cosmos and really, really quiet on the Capsule 3. So the ambient room volume's about 32 and you can see when I speak it's all the way up at sort of 68, 70. And uh, if we turn the projector on now. That's now fully booted, it's about 44 decibels, including the ambient room volume. Pretty flipping quiet. If you can see any rolling bars or flicker on any of these demonstrations, then I can assure you it is my camera, not the projector. Because the image on the Cosmos is jaw-dropping. It's burn your retinas out levels of bright, and its laser makes those 8.2 million pixels pinpoint accurate. HDR10 gives fantastic contrast to the image, and with a little tweaking, I was able to get some of the best color reproduction I've seen on any display let alone a portable projector. The phone I'm using is well known for its excellent colour accuracy, so to see these kinds of results just shows how premium this product is. If you want to know the settings I used to get these results, then they are on your screen now, should you decide to bag one of these for yourself. With the curtains open, there is an obvious dip in contrast. They haven't figured out yet how to, to make black light. But because this is one of the brightest portables on the market, it is still more than watchable, even at midday. The picture on the Capsule 3 obviously has less pixels at 1080p, but again, the quality, thanks to the laser technology, is quite astonishing, especially considering its much smaller size and price tag. Both with the curtains drawn and with the curtains open, the picture is actually still really watchable. These are DLP laser projectors, which means that if you suffer with the rainbow effect that some people get if they move their head around whilst watching the image, you might suffer with it here. I personally don't experience that at all, so it's difficult to give my opinion on it. I don't see any laser rainbow effect for me personally, you might. It takes 52 seconds to boot from cold, 
This might be a longer time than you are used to, but it's worth noting that if it's in standby, it only takes about two seconds. And finally, this is a 4K beast, so it doesn't work off battery. I would have liked it if it had got a battery in it, but I just don't think that's feasible with today's technology. If you wanted to take this thing camping, you would need to power it using your car or using some sort of external power supply. The Capsule 3, however, has a battery life of up to two and a half hours and is very portable. Just, uh, just ask these hipsters. That's it. Have a, have a good dance with it. Why wouldn't you do that? It makes perfect sense. It's only a projector. A projector! Stop dancing with it! It's worth noting that the Capsule 3 does have Netflix, but you can't control it with the Capsule's remote. You have to use the app. I'm guessing this is a certification thing because Netflix just don't have enough money. Linus of Linus Tech Tips fame said that the Cosmos is an actual projector that just happens to be portable. And I think that's an understatement. This is a really good projector that just happens to be portable. As well as all the other perks, there is a gaming mode, which anchor rates at 40 milliseconds. There is the ability to watch 3D movies with DLP link glasses. And if you don't like the price tag, then anchor also offer a 1080p version for a lot less money. And you can pick up all three of these projectors from the links in the description. The capsule laser is currently $799 or $899 for the special Transformers limited edition version. But from the 1st of April to the 30th of April, there is a discount of $120. So now is a good time to pick them up. But the biggest discount is on the Cosmos and it's a beast of a discount at $400 off. If you use the code Cosmos laser on Amazon, then that will give you the discount and seriously, you should go and pick it up at that price. It's amazing. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. that will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people running up your screen are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, I wouldn't be doing this. This channel would not exist, and I would be doing something else. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon, or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks, and my TikToks, and my Twitters, and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there, and we can be best friends. See you next time. Yeah, yes, I know how that sounded. I've been trying to... <laughs> it's going to be much lower spec for the capsule because it's a much cheaper price tag. If in the meantime you've enjoyed this, I don't know what happened to my voice! <laughs> no! Do it again!